Good afternoon, this is David Wolf. Today I'll be giving you a short overview on the new Windchill 10 Kappa capabilities, otherwise known as corrective and preventive action. You can see here from my home page, I'm logged in as Peter, and it's very easy for a light touch user, somebody that's not familiar with the system, to come in and launch a new Kappa request by using the quality action links right on my home page. You can see here I'm using Firefox, um, but this is also accessible from a wide variety of different browsers. The first thing that I'm going to do is type in a required field. You can see the star next to the name field, and I'm going to just give this a name of my Kappa. Uh, let's say this is a product related Kappa and that we might have caught it through trends. Um, I can put any detailed description information, who's responsible from a control authority standpoint. And then I can add sites by going in and doing a detailed search. And then we also have this on the fly lookup that if I type in a piece of that specific information or site, it pulls back a collection that matches that input. Here I'm going to just put New Way uh, Montreal. You can have multiple different sites like manufacturing sites or suppliers that are affected by this Kappa and designate one as the primary if you choose to do so. I choose next here at the bottom of the first intake page and you'll notice up at the top it shows me that I've already set the attributes on the initial page. Now we can go in and search for any affected objects same type of uh, search capability here that if I type in a piece of the document or part or subassembly, maybe an end item name, it'll pull back any information in the system that matches that. So it really reduces your time to search and any type of typo errors. I'll just pick a part or uh, an assembly here for demonstration purposes. We can put in how many uh, quantity or different lots. We can have lot date ranges to capture the containment of that particular product or document related issue. Uh, as I'm navigating through to the attachments, this is where I can drag and drop right out of uh, my desktop, if you will, any files or pictures, emails, and capture that information, kind of supporting information relevant to the Kappa. The last page here, I can associate any changes, and this really gets into the power of having an integral Kappa with the PLM system. So I can go in and look uh, at non-conformances or problem reports or complaints within the system, or I can do a wildcard search for everything. I'm going to go ahead and do a wildcard, pull back everything. So you can see some problem reports here of like shop floor issues maybe a flash line or a molding issue. I can also see um, that there were some internal ISO product development audit projects with issues related to my particular Kappa. And then down below I can see also there was a lot of product design issues um, that are coming through as non-conformances within the system. So I can pick any of those and uh, go ahead and hit OK here. And I've gone through and quickly captured all of the direct feed, uh, quality feeds into this Kappa, whether it be nonconformance, audit, complaint, floor issues, a wide variety of different inputs that are at my fingertips now. And uh, anybody coming back into the record at any future point in time has access and can launch any of these records to look at the details. I'll go ahead and save the record now and it'll complete the first stage of the Kappa itself. And while that's finishing, I'm going to go ahead back to my home page and show you a few other Kappas that are a little bit further through uh, some of the, the later stages of the Kappa. So this particular Kappa I, I accessed right from my home page. You can right mouse on it and get right into the details. For instance, the structure here I can see a background of why this was created at what point in time. 
uh, the site information or who all's involved, whether it's a supplier or my particular manufacturing site or numerous, what the request was about, uh, maybe a detailed investigation. And you'll notice in the investigation, like all the other quality records, we have a very detailed capture of the quality risk and uh, particularly like your fault tree or failure mode effects analysis all that information can be entered in and quantified on the quality record and then utilized later for reporting purposes. You also notice that we can have different root cause we just have some plain vanilla root cause here whether it's vanilla or uh, excuse me design or vendor um, but you can actually have these very detailed uh, as the root cause analysis. Under action plans, I can also see that we're doing both a supplier corrective action and we're doing an internal redesign. So there's some numerous issues with this uh, particular electronics card, some of which have to do with the volumes and interference and the board layout. Others have to do with a lot of supplier related issues that we're, we're uh, interfering with the design intent as well. Under the timeline, I can see when the different stages of the CAPA took place, whether it was intake, evaluation, investigation. I also have in the upper right of every single screen or particular quality record, the state diagram. And it shows me in green the steps that have already been completed as part of the workflow. And then dynamically as we're building this out, if we need an implementation, one for the supplier with uh, effectiveness checks, the other's internal without effectiveness or approval stages on those the, uh, implementation actions. So very easy for me to get to that record and see all the details um, according to the CAPA itself. Next, I'm going to go to my home page again and just show you uh, the capability to run some saved reports. Uh, this user in here has their own particular report that's set up. I'm going to choose this Kappa report. And what this report is going to do is go through and filter by a set of criteria that I've defined, such as name, number, request, Kappa. You know any other pertinent information that I want to pull back on this record and now I can go ahead and drag and drop the columns sort them I can turn the columns on or off um, and very versatile for me to go in and interact with the data that I'm pulling back I can also export this to a wide variety of different formats uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up an HTML format which I've already got in the background here and you can see what the name of the CAPA is, the subject type, whether it was the supplier, personnel, product, maybe even a documentation, the source of the audit or management review, maybe some complaints with adverse events, and then any other information about the products or the documentation involved with this particular CAPA. And that wraps up my demonstration. Thank you.